How did it feel today? One more, one, one last time in the uh, practice facility. Getting, oh, it was it going. It was great. You know, it's no better place to do it than right here. A great facility, but uh, yeah, just get out here and kick a little bit and watch all my. Uh, all my brothers kind of go out there and, and succeed and do well. Do you feel like you made an impression on uh, some of these NFL evaluators? Yeah, definitely. I think I, you know, the thing with me has always been a question about leg strength. Um, and I think I, I kind of proved that with my field goal range and, and kickoffs here. So, uh, yeah, I think I had a good day. They gave you a good job? Yeah, they told me a good job. I was talking with a couple of them, just talking about logistics and stuff like that. But, yeah. I see a lot of kickers drafted. How special would it be to be drafted, or is it almost better to go ahead and be a free agent and a big spot? Yeah, no, I'd definitely rather be drafted. Obviously, if a team drafts you, you know they're they're making an investment in you, and you can't really beat that. Um, you know, it is pretty hard to be drafted as a kicker, so that's you know it's something I hope for. But I'm not necessarily going to be too upset if I don't get drafted because I'll go somewhere free agency. So. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, it was awesome that he got drafted. But, uh, yeah, I haven't talked with him lately. But, uh, yeah, you know, he had a great year at Tennessee. So, yeah, he'll stay there for a while. What was your training process sort of like? Um, yeah, it's a lot different than other positions. You know, I don't go to any place for eight weeks and train my 40 and that like literally all I did today was kick um, but I was just here in Columbia um, kind of kicking on my own working out on my own um, doing kicking lessons on the side but uh, yeah it's a lot different I'm really just working on kicking and, and trying to improve my leg strength but there's no no 40 testing no vertical jump all that stuff I don't don't need to worry about that I don't care about your broad jump right yeah there. exactly <laughs> exactly did you put any thought into, into trying any of those just for I, I was thinking about running the 40. You know, I, I had a pretty decent 40 time, you know, earlier on. Um, but, uh, you know, I realized, you know, kind of yesterday I was planning on doing it. I realized I hadn't ran it in probably two years. So, uh, you know, you have all these guys out here training for eight weeks to do it. And, I, you know, I hadn't really trained at all for that. So I decided not to. But, yeah. Is the next step for you just kind of continuing the kicking drills and the uh, – get as strong as you can before the, the draft or possible interviews? Yeah, definitely. Just kind of maintaining and keeping up with it every day. Always trying to get the legs long, stronger. Um, NFL teams love a guy with a big leg. But, uh, yeah, just trying to do that and just kind of sit and wait and see what happens. You know, when you were going through it, obviously, you're game, one game after another. <clears throat> now that you know your career here is over, you're the leading scorer, maybe you had time to reflect on, on all that? Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's, it's obviously really cool. You know, I said it before, but you know when you look up at all the names on the stadium with you know George Rogers and, and everybody up there, you know it's it's cool to be up there with them. No matter, you know I, I still I've said it, I'll say it again. I think it's going to get broken pretty soon. Yeah. Um, you know, our team's really on the rise and offense is looking good. So, but uh, yeah, to be up there at all is is pretty cool and special.